Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in this series of tutorials on Perl. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about some features of Perl. We are going to download and install Padre Perl, which is an integrated development environment for Perl, a tool that we will be using to write and run our scripts. And uh, we are also going to build and run our first Perl script. So. Perl is uh, a language that is used mostly for uh, creating dynamic websites. It is also used for uh, system administration and uh, text processing and uh, managing and configuring networks. And uh, because it is so powerful and so versatile, it is also known as the Swiss Army Chainsaw of Programming Languages. And um, in this course, we are going to start with the basics and uh, as we move towards the end of the course we are going to check out some advanced stuff as well. So the first thing that I want you to do is uh, open your web browser and uh, make a Google search for uh, Padre Perl right and uh, I want you to click on the download Padre link that pops on the screen and uh, then if you're using Linux that you could uh, follow the instructions on how you can install this on Linux uh, depending on the distro that you're using if you're using Mac then you could check out the instructions here but uh, I'm using Windows and uh, I would suggest that you click on this link over here which is uh, DWIM Perl and then the version is 5 and it's an executable file that you can download and I already have the software installed on my system so I'm not going to download this set of file again but uh, once you've downloaded this file uh, you just have to click on uh, the file and run it as uh, the administrator on your system and then follow the defaults and uh, you'll have the software installed there's really nothing fancy in the installation process you just have to uh, you know stick to the defaults and once you have the software installed on your system I would recommend that you create a shortcut on the desktop or on the taskbar because we're going to use it very frequently while we're learning Perl and I have created a shortcut on my taskbar and as a matter of fact I've already written a Perl script I have it open here and uh, I want you to notice a few things about this script not everything I particularly want you to ignore the text that I have um, you know everything except the text that I have on line number six you could just ignore right now uh, one thing that I want you to note is that I have saved this file and it has the .pl extension right this is very important whenever you create a Perl script you need to give it the .pl extension so that uh, the system can recognize that it is a Perl script and I have given it the name hello so the idea of uh, building a hello world uh, program when you begin learning a new programming language is not to learn uh, a feature of the language or absorb the syntax or anything it is just to familiarize with uh, the environment of the language particularly if you're using an IDE or some tool like Eclipse then uh, to understand how you can uh, create a script file or a program in that uh, IDE how you can uh, save the file and how you can run it so in Padre it is really quite simple if you want to create a script file just go to file and uh, click on new if you don't want to do that then you could also press ctrl n on your keyboard and it opens a new tab wherein you can type your Perl code and uh, to run the script you could either click on the play button in the menu here or you could go to run and click on run script or you could uh, just press F5 on your keyboard right uh, if I click on run script it asks me to save the file first as I mentioned it's very important to save Perl scripts with the .pl extension and unless you save the file with the, the extension after giving the file a name it won't allow you to run the code so I already have created a script file for this tutorial so I'm going to close this tab and get back to my hello pl file and uh, on line number six in in this file I have a print statement the job of the statement is to display the text hello world with an exclamation symbol on uh, the output screen and I also have a new line escape sequence I'm going to talk about this later on when we uh, discuss escape sequences in this course and I also have a semicolon at the end and this is because in Perl you have to terminate all executable statements with a semicolon right so when I run this file by going to run and then clicking on run script 
a new window opens up which displays the text hello world exclamation symbol and it also tells me that if I want to close this window then I have to press a key on the keyboard and uh, I will just press the spacebar and the window automatically closes and I am uh, back to my editor right so I'm going to talk about uh, the shebang line and uh, the use trick and use warnings in a later tutorial for the time being I just wanted to show you guys how a Perl script looks and uh, the fact that you have to save all your Perl scripts with the .pl extension the last thing that I want to show you guys is uh, how you can see the version of Perl that is installed in your system and a uh, few more details about Perl through the command line for that you'll have to go to start and then type cmd or just open the command prompt if you're using uh, Ubuntu then you'll have to open the terminal or uh, you know if you're using Mac then I'm sure there is some program to access uh, the shell and you have to open that program in Windows it is uh, called command prompt and it looks like this and uh, just type Perl and uh, give a space put a hyphen and then type the alphabet V right in lowercase and when you do that you see this text and you will see this only if Perl has been properly installed on your system if there were errors uh, while you were installing uh, the set of file uh, then you will not see this text and uh, in some operating systems Perl is pre-installed so even if you haven't installed uh, uh, you know Perl from a third party source or if you haven't uh, installed an IDE you should still see this it tells you the version the subversion and gives you a few more details about Perl and uh, if you want more details then you could type Perl space hyphen but this time instead of lowercase we type an uppercase we and you would see the binaries that were installed along with the interpreter the libraries the packages and all of that which gets me to the point that Perl is an interpreted language it is not a compiled language like C or Java which is in a way a good thing because you don't have to go through the hassle of creating a compiled file so that you could run the code it's really quite fast and versatile and uh, uh, you know simple and uh, flexible and there are a lot of good things that I can say about Perl it's one of my favorite programming languages and I hope uh, during this course I share things about Perl which you are able to appreciate and uh, hopefully we will have fun as we move along uh, in this course I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this one hope you liked it and uh, take care